On this week's Farm Basics, we wanted to talk just a little bit about what happens with corn stalks the year afterwards if you don't till them into the soil. Well, we're out in the soybean field and, and we've done some strip tillage here, so there's a lot of stalks that lay in between the rows of soybeans. And, you know, we're getting later on into the season and there's still some stalks left. And it's always a question that we get from our viewers. Well, what happens with these stalks and, and how long does it take for them to break down and, and how many nutrients are left in those stalks? Well, you see, back in the good old days, let's say 40, 50 years ago, we didn't have much for herbicides. We didn't have real great farm equipment. So you couldn't just go into standing corn stalks like this and do strip tillage or no-till or anything like that very effectively. So now that we do have all those capabilities, we're dealing with some different problems today than what we used to have. And one of those is trying to get this residue to break down during the growing season. Well, there's a lot of different things you can do to influence the breakdown of those stalks. You have to keep in mind that bacteria in the soil are, and weather deterioration are gonna be your two factors to get those stalks to break down, but it really comes down to the soil life. So it's earthworms that are pulling some stalks down with them. It's bacteria that are chewing on and deteriorating stalks. So you need to do everything you can to keep the soil health, basically, up in your field. So you wanna do things you can to keep those bacteria and earthworms and things in your soil healthy. And that's really the main thing that we wanted to talk about here. You know, we think about bacteria and fungi and what a bad thing that is, especially if it shows up in your refrigerator or something else. But out in the field, many of those things are great. And that's what's happening with corn stalks, like the one I'm holding in my hand right now. There's bacteria affecting it, there's fungi affecting it, and they're breaking that down. And the good thing about this is as they break it down, it makes it easier to plant next year's crop because the residue is basically gone or just disintegrated. And the other thing is there are nutrients, plant nutrients, that are left in these stalks and as they break down eventually they become available for future crops so this this residue breakdown is really important out in fields and I don't care what it is a corn stalk soybean stubble wheat wheat stalks I, anything that you have left out in that field any residue it has some nutrients and it can help future crops once it deteriorates and breaks down well the challenge with corn stalks out in fields is they're about 60 parts carbon to one part nitrogen so we need to get some more nitrogen out there for the bacteria to get working on those stalks and be able to break them down. So once you get that carbon to nitrogen ratio down to 17 to one, you can start getting some breakdown. And when you get down to 12 or 13 to one, uh, you really get things cooking out in the field. So a couple ways to do that are to apply some nitrogen to the field, especially right after combining in the fall. So you've got that fresh residue out there. You've got a long time until next spring when you're gonna be planting a crop and, and you want that breakdown to really get rolling for you. So you can put some nitrogen on in the fall or you could do a little bit of tillage. Now, that doesn't mean you have to do full scale tillage. It doesn't mean you have to do uh, a plow uh, pass through the field or something like that. You can just go with some coulters chop up those residue a little bit, cut them up so they're more exposed, and then also kick just a little bit of dirt up on them to try and help both with that carbon to nitrogen ratio, but also to get some of that soil bacteria up on those stalks. All right, thanks for the biology lesson today. But anyway, we don't, wanna make, yeah, we don't wanna make this too complicated for you. The, the main thing we're trying to stress once again is that what happens out in the field, there are a lot of bacteria, fungi, earthworms, all these soil organisms start attacking these stalks, breaking them down, and releasing nutrients for future crops. Well, one of the things that we would love to have those bacteria break down is the weeds in the field. Unfortunately, that takes too long, so we've got to do some other things. We'll show you how to kill this tough weed coming up later in the show.